Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I have brought you a new project. It's called Government Fund Transfer Tracking using a blockchain project, which is a blockchain project where we can able to track what are the funds has been transferred from one state, uh, from central to uh, uh, any other state, could be district, could be any village, how much of fund has been sanctioned. So everything can be tracked using this particular project. So uh, watch this full video so that you can understand how this project works. And let me know if you need uh, any uh, modification or any other new projects. Uh, if you want me, you can uh, give a, com a comment in the comment section. All right. So uh, let's see how this project works. All right. Okay. So in, in uh, as you can see in this uh, web page, you can able to see a uh, login as government body. Uh, and uh, login as an admin. So let me tell you what this admin actually do means. So admin can able to add the governments like um, uh, different different states, villages, uh, like Canada government, uh, Kerala government, Tamil Nadu government, Madhya Pradesh government. So like this can be added uh, into this system. Into this system. So in the government body, government can able to transfer for funds for any projects. All right. So this is the table which you are seeing in over here where my cousin is pointing right now in this table can able people can able to see or can able to track everything for for how many budget like a budget will be announced from central government right so for how many budget how many amount has been sanctioned for for which project on which date everything can be tracked over here all right so first and foremost thing uh since I has uh, started the project over here and this is the public uh, public blockchain which is ethereum uh, which is based on ethereum platform so i log in as admin because i have started this project right now so none of the government has been already uh, added so i'll log in as an admin so when you start this project for the first time the which address you are using that will be the admin address by default all right so i'm using account two so i'll change it to admin so that i won't get confused well, explain the project or show in the demonstration. So let me keep it as admin work here. So check. All right. So now first and foremost, we will add a government body. So we need to give a name for over here. So I'll name this as central. Central. All right. Central. Choose the government role of the government. There is a central government. And here I need to give the public address. So this will be available in our Ganache, which is a public blockchain, which can run in our local machine. All right, I'll just copy this work here. This is the, uh, just remember index one will be the public address for uh, central government. Just to remind so that I won't get confused while adding other governments as well. All right, so add this government work here. Here I need to confirm as a digital uh, confirmation. So as you can see, I got a proper central has been added successfully. So now I'll add a few more governments so that uh, we can, uh, uh release some funds for some any kind of projects i'll use second one to add a second government so i'm pasting it over here and i'll choose it is a state government and let me name this as karnataka karnataka all right so as you can see over here central government state government district taluk panchat every government can be added over here all right so add user and uh, confirm all right so Canada has been as added. So let me add one more government over here. I'll just copy this and paste it over here. It's a state government. Let me add it again. It's a state government. Oh, let me give name as uh, Kerala. All right, Kerala. Add new user and add it. So for this, for this video sake, I'm just adding only two. So we can add multiple. Uh, I'll go to home now again. So I'll log in as a government. So since which government, when you click on government, you have to log in or you have to use that government address over here. But now it is admin, but admin can able, cannot able to add funds. So I need to log in as a government. So only central government can able to add funds, which, which is nothing but a budget to set a budget. All right. So I log in over here import it and i'll name this account three as uh, central central government all right central and check close this connect it done 
So central government over here had funds. So let me add funds over here. For example, let me take as a uh, five lakh. Okay, five thousand, fifty thousand, five lakh. All right. So as of now, I'm just allocating only five lakh over here. Can add multiple. All right. So a lakhs together. So allocate funds. So funds will be allocated from central government. A confirm. All right. So as you can see, central government. On 5th February 22nd, where uh, currently I'm recording this video, I'm on 50 or 5 lakh has been allocated as of yearly fund. All right, so select rule. All right, so 5,000 or uh, 5 lakh has been allocated as a budget, a whole year budget. So these budget amount or funds will be broken into pieces and will be distributed to. Um, entire uh, country or for uh, different different states for any projects like that all right so sanction funds here you can see a sanction funds over here and here as you can see i'm choosing center because i have already logged in as a central over here as you can see central so total allocation funds is five thousand remaining we have five lakh i mean five, uh, five lakh and remaining five lakh because we have not shared or we have not uh, sanctioned any of the funds so let me give a uh, uh, sanction funds for Karnataka for uh, road constructions or okay a project name road construction road constructions all right so let me give us 10 lakh work here just for an example purpose that's it um thousand and ten thousand and one lakh yeah one lakh is enough i'm giving one lakh work here so sanction funds so a confirmation from central government confirm as you can see so uh, one lakh has been detected from the remaining balance but total allocated will be here like this and central government to reserve government is karnataka how much one lakh all right so the times will be recorded over here so on which date which government for which government for which project how much amount all right how much funds have been sanctioned so that can be tracked over here so now uh, i log in with the karnataka karnataka account see we uh, in metama service as you can see it's a central government so now i will log in as a karnataka account so that i can able to see the one lakh amount which is sanctioned from a central government all right so like this i am logging in over here input it's account for let me change the name as uh, karnataka karnataka all right so connect it that's it so as you can see in karnataka account uh, you have uh, one lakh which was sanctioned from the central government so that can be tracked over here all right so even if they even karnataka account can able to transfer funds to uh, uh, different states or if uh, if i had any district name over here means that will be visible over here since i have added only three so that uh, that we can see over here all right so now uh, now what i'll do means i'll just uh, add one more government to the account uh, this was for central Karnataka. this is for kerala kerala government so let me copy this and uh, go here and importing connected let me change the name as it's the kerala government all right so account details kerala all right so kerala government let's refresh this as you can see in kerala uh, balance is zero because none of the account or none of the funds has been sanctioned to the kerala government so what i'll do means i'll just log in with the government again uh, central government again all right so now uh, we are in central government okay as you can see four like remaining is there so now we'll choose uh, kerala uh, let me give a project name for uh, um, like uh, um, water supply or forest maintenance just an example all right forest maintenance so sanction amount could be like let me give a uh, 50000 all right 50000 so sanction funds from central government to kerala government confirm 
and sanction successful as you can see from central government to kerala government for forest maintenance on this date 50000 has been sanctioned all right so now we we'll log in as the kerala government over here we'll see whether account uh, amount has been received or not as you can see in central government we have only 35 35 uh, 350000 we have over here may refresh this again so that i can able to see kerala account as you can see 50000 which were, which was received from the central government uh, we can see over here all right got it so now what i'll do uh, this is what the uh, actual here you can see uh, which government and sanction to which government for which project on how much amount so uh, based on this project and wait uh, before that i'll just go to the home so that pe people can able to track see this is the home page no need to log in as a government no need to log in as an admin but everything how much amount has been sanctioned for which project from central government to the uh, other states or any other districts or villages on which date on for how um, much uh, for which amount so this can be tracked by the people this will be public entirely public all right so that money uh, we can able to track for what project how many money has been invested by the government all right so this is what government fund transfer tracking government fund transfer using blockchain i hope you like this uh, project and i hope you like this video uh, if you want any other topics or just give a topic name in that um, comment so that we can make a project and we will bring it to you and if you need this project if you want to download this project all the details will be available in the description just go and check on the description and if you faced any uh, if you didn't get anything Just put it in comments. We'll reply on and we'll get in touch with you so that we can give you give you this project for you. All right. So that's all for today, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, if you like this video, just give a thumbs up over here. And if you're new to our channel, go and uh, smash the subscribe button. And we'll meet in next video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.